the parents of a school shooter may be charged in connection with their child's crime. 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly is being charged as an adult. He's pled not guilty to murder and terrorism, terrorism, for the shooting at his Michigan high school. A fourth student, a 17-year-old, Justin Schilling, died from his injuries on Wednesday, and, and at least seven others, including a teacher, were wounded, some severely. Kelsey Kernstein live outside of Oxford High School with new information about the investigation. Kelsey. Well, Adrian, the prosecuting attorney says this was absolutely a premeditated shooting. Uh, chilling new details, law enforcement finding video on Ethan Crumbly's cell phone detailing the attack, but also finding a journal detailing how he would commit murder. An entire Michigan community coming to grips with the murders of four teenagers, all killed in Tuesday's Oxford High School shooting. One of the students, Tate Meyer, taking his final breath in a patrol car as a deputy rushed him to a hospital. Mr. Meyer asked me when I spoke to him if I had children, and I said that I did, and that I would treat this case like these are my own children. The 15-year-old suspect, Ethan Crumbly, being charged as an adult, facing four counts of first-degree murder and one count of terrorism causing death. Lastly, charging this person as an adult is necessary to achieve justice and protect the public. Any other option would put all of us at risk. Startling revelations announced by investigators on Wednesday. The 9mm Sig Sauer handgun used in the deadly attack purchased by the suspect's father only days prior. Crumbly's parents had been summoned to the school the day before and the morning of the shooting for a face-to-face -face meeting about their son's behavior, according to law enforcement. Hi. Specifically, myself asked the school district. They had no information in any of their records that he had been bullied, and we have had no information brought to our attention from any other source that he had been bullied. The sheriff investigating the crime says his team is taking a further dive into the suspect's possible motive. His cell phone and other digital devices currently under review. <laughs> Heartbreaking video showing students fleeing from their classrooms, uncertain of whether they were really safe. Slow down, you're fine. The Oakland County prosecutor stating a larger discussion needs to be had. To prevent further tragedies like the one we witnessed yesterday, and at large, we have got to address responsible gun ownership in this country and in Oakland County. And several questions still surround this case. Will the parents be charged? If so, those charges could come soon. The prosecuting attorney saying that that gun, the father's gun, should have been locked up, especially around a minor, Adrian. It's an important story. Kelsey, thank you so much. We will be speaking with Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald at 8.30 Central Time, 9.30 Eastern this morning about how the parents of the shooter could be charged in this case. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.